Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 5. You guys catch me right at the end of last episode where I've logged on and I've still got a inventory full of messy, messy, messy shock boxes from the last episode. If you guys didn't see it already, definitely go check it out. We use just, just the most random block assortments ever. I don't think I've ever just like filled up some shock boxes with the most random blocks ever before. I just, usually they're sort of all like, you know, the same sort of block, like that sort of thing, or maybe even that, I don't know. These these are still quite random, but, but not as random as like this. Just, the only times that these boxes are usually this sort of color is when I'm doing a, a like a pixel art prank or something like that. But, uh, but yes, if you guys didn't check out last episode, do, do so, it was a, a fun one to do. And also we made this. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Man, I, I've woken up today and I've looked at this and I've gone, you know what? We did pretty good. We did pretty good. Like, I mean, it's everything's going to look a little bit pixelated from this up close. But I really, really think that when you put it in a frame like this and you see it from this distance, it looks exactly the same as my one on YouTube or Twitter or wherever. Like, look how it just looks so, so clear. It just, it looks good, man. The fact that you could do things like this in Minecraft, I mean, yes, in vanilla Minecraft it is not as fun, but you can uh, you can actually do that super duper easy with um, uh, with schematics and just get a schematic into the game. Uh, make sure you line it up with a map, and yeah, if you're 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 playing a creative game where you're in creative mode, then you can very very easily do it. Although it is pretty satisfying looking at it and going, you know what, I did that all in vanilla, even though it took the whole day. Literally yesterday was just filled up with just me playing Minecraft. Like, I, I play Minecraft most of the day anyway, but but not not at that sort of level. I don't ever just stare at the floor placing blocks trying to copy something over. But anyway, today's uh, going to be a fun episode, if not a bit more of a relaxed one. I need to get some more materials together. We are going to be using some more subtle materials though. We're going to probably be using some woods. So we're probably going to be using some spruce too, and lots of other blocks like that, because I want to start building uh, like an actual building over in the uh, this district. Uh, I keep thinking of trying to think up names for these districts, but I can't do that. This one's obviously, obviously the... I always use the word slums, but it's not really going to turn into the slums. It's going to sort of turn into, uh, I don't know, so, sort of a camping district. There's going to be some huts. Just, just smaller buildings. So... If you guys have names for the districts, or even the whole island, uh, leave the suggestions down below, because if I pick some out, I'm going to write them on, like, signs, you know, on the sort of, you know, I don't know, like, signposts, like, you know, maybe there'll be a signpost there saying that you're heading to the symmetry docks, or, you know, you're heading to the the expensive area, you're heading to the, the village, you're heading to the, you know, worker area, you know, like... <laughs> I don't know. You guys are really, really good at coming up with names. I absolutely suck at coming up with names. Like, I'm the worst. I don't... Like, I have a good imagination, visually, but when it comes to words, just, no, my brain doesn't work like that. I'm really, really bad at improv uh, because of that, too. So, uh, yeah, I want to build a, I think, a sawmill today. I wanted this to be sort of a more of a worker area, so I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. I'm going to have to block out like a, a rectangle somewhere and build it there but this area is so bumpy it's going to be hard to find a flat enough area i'm thinking either there if that's big enough or perhaps there is a flat area down here or sort of here maybe here if we push back these hills a little bit we'll see we'll see maybe i can even like bring it out this way too I don't know, we're going to figure out where to put it, but um, I'm looking forward to today's episode because uh, I haven't built like a, a whole building for a little while, it seems, other than that house over there, which is pretty much the same as every other house. But anyway, let's get our stuff together and let's start building this awesome sawmill. Well, hopefully it's awesome. Who knows, it could be terrible. <laughs> okay, so in uh, having to go and get the materials for what I'm building, I of course had to head over here to Cobb Vans. Look at this thing. Look how much ink I've got. I've literally just been sat here for, I think, 15, 20 minutes, and I've got this much ink. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, Iskull is on right now, but I believe he's working in the nether today, which means I had all of the ink just, just flowing, just, just, 
yeah, it's, it was great. But also, there's a creeper farm over here, which I haven't really explored yet, and I thought I'd show you guys, because I actually didn't realise there was a creeper farm on here for a while, and then someone was like, oh, Cup, Cup's got a creeper farm, and I'm like, does he? <laughs> you know, and you just miss a video, and then that video is like a whole farm, and you're like, oh, there does actually exist a creeper farm on the server. Uh, it isn't as cool looking as the other one. I don't think this one has like a, I can't get to the top of it, but I don't believe it has a um, a giant face on top like the last time. Uh, although Cubfan has already built a giant face. Uh, you know, like like my last episode. Uh, anyway, we're gonna be leaving right now. We don't need to stick around here any longer. I forgot Shogbox, that was dumb of me, but uh, I guess I can come back here anytime. But this should be more than enough for a roof. I guess I should probably head to a prismarine farm and Gather a little bit more of some shards. Oh, also, by the way, this is like, this is the entrance to the ink farm. <laughs> not, not your your safest um, path, um, Cub. Also, to get back to, you know, where people actually live, I have to fly this way um, and jump onto this path here. So, yeah, GG, Cub. Uh, 10 out of 10, nether pathway there. Totally safe. Would recommend... Uh, if you want to possibly die when you're just going to go grab some ink sacks. But yeah, uh, he's literally got his nether portal or like nether hub back oh, in this way. So like, it's quite, <laughs> it's quite confusing, I'm going to be honest. Cub, Cub, get some signs, man. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. He actually told me where, where it was so I could actually get here. Um, also, he built a car. You know, like the car they said in spec. Yeah, anyway. Uh, right. I'm gonna leave now and um, hopefully have enough materials for the roof and then we can start building because I've spent way too long just chilling over here. So let's get back home. Right, it's time to start building and well, the sun's going down, which is not super handy, but I have figured out where I wanted to build this thing. I sort of marked it out with corners of stone and then I built sort of an L shape. How I did the houses, it's gonna be sort of similar plan wise and also similar material wise because I don't want to I don't want to go too far away from the, the color palette I've been using because it it's all meant to sort of match that's the only problem when you do villages and stuff you sort of it's very difficult to build a whole village with like multiple different build styles like you can't just build like a modern house one place uh, a traditional house another place a medieval one the other like you can't you can't just I mean you could do that but I guess it would be kind of odd anyway uh, I've got a plan in my head for this, so I'm going to try and explain to you guys what I'm planning here. So, uh, this whole room here, this this one that's sort of the stone brick sort of stuff, is going to be the actual sawmill sort of area. So, if I can grab my blocks real quick, we're basically going to be using rails and wood. Now, I did my research and tried to sort of figure out uh, different styles and different ways to make sawmills. Now I noticed that a lot of the sawmills that people make in Minecraft uh, have like a, uh, a water mill like next to it, sort of a, uh, a water wheel I guess they're called, um, to sort of I guess get, get power to the saw and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I was like, I've already sort of got one over there right behind my base so I don't really want to do that uh, again. But yeah, so this is basically the floor plan for this area. We're gonna, I guess, build it up like this. I guess we'll have stairs into it. It won't matter that the, the floor's quite high up. I don't, I don't think anyway. I have run out of blocks though. So, um, yeah, so basically what's gonna happen is this central area here, I'll add detail afterwards by the way, I'm sort of just blocking it all in. But yeah, so the, I wish I knew the technical terms for sawmill stuff, but I don't. So you guys are just gonna have to bear with me. So basically we're gonna have this rail here and then in the middle somewhere, we are going to have like a log. So let's just grab a log real quick. And uh, can we put it like against that? We can, perfect. And then basically, this is the path that it's going to be pushed through. We're going to have like a saw here. Like a, a piston holding onto a block with like iron bars around it. That's the best way I've seen like a saw designed. So we're going to do that and put that sort of through here. Um, I've seen some people use trap doors below this kind of area, uh, as though when it goes through, maybe the wood drops down once it's cut, because it fits through the gap. Don't know if that's how it actually works, who knows, but it looked quite cool, um, and that's basically what matters for me. Uh, so this area is going to be super duper open here. Uh, then we're going to have, I think, a staircase in this area, going up to, like, the second floor. So this will be, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, maybe five tall in this room, and then it'll have a, a second floor. 
Uh, and then here we'll have basically two floors. This will be like the house sort of office area, perhaps. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this whole thing like not broken up. And then I guess because it's in this area, we're going to maybe add some leaves and make holes in the roof at a later time. I think I'm going to leave it uh, clean and tidy for, for a while. And then uh, I guess, I don't know, I guess we'll sort of work on it. Anyway, I'm going to try and build the sort of first floor uh, and figure out how this is all looking. We're going to do the whole thing with stairs and windows. Like the other houses, I'm not going to show you guys all the details because you guys have seen me build many houses on the server so far. But yeah, uh, I think also I'm going to, I think, change that wood there to oak because it feels a little bit weird that we're sort of chopping down wood that is being used for the build. It sort of makes it seem like it's part of the, uh, the thing. But yeah, that looks a lot better and it stands out a lot more. Nice. So this is working pretty well so far. I like this. So this is going to be the workshop area. That's the sort of main building, although there'll be a sort of, I guess it'll be L-shaped above. Uh, I think that's going to work well. So I've sort of added some little details here. I might even add things like that just to sort of give it a little bit of depth in there. Uh, but anyway, I want to work on the staircase because uh, if I can build the staircase right now, we can easily build sort of upwards without having to build like ladders and all scaffolding and all that kind of jazz. So this works quite nicely, I think. So I think we're going to make the staircase go up to perhaps, so that's one there. So let's sort of block this off. Um, and then maybe let's go up two more, I think. Let's just use dirt here to place it against. I think that kind of height might work. Uh, I'm going to have to build a whole nother one of these. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that, that works. So this should be a nice height. That should make that five tall in there, like I said previously. Hopefully, at least. Um, but how is that looking from out? Yeah, we're going to have to definitely remove... No, wait. Yeah, maybe... Ooh. I don't know. Maybe we keep that one... Let's see if we can do this kind of thing. Oh, no, don't don't remove it all false, just just the sort of inner part. There we go. That sort of worked. <laughs> my uh, my axe is too powerful. Right, so that that looks quite nice. We can even possibly block in this little area in here and have it as like a little under just I don't know, like a little storage area or something. I'm not super sure. Yeah, something like that. That should work, right? Non I'll ever no, that's that right, nice. So, yeah, having that go up to this floor. So we can sort of block this in. We don't really need anything there. And then we can pretty much just build like a... Let's see if this will work. Maybe we could build like a little... Let's have that go up one more time. So it sort of works with this. So yeah, we can have like a... Not a balcony, but like, I guess... A sort of... It's getting very, very dark all of a sudden. No, don't go dark already. I'm not ready for you to go dark. Yeah, let's maybe make it like a little... That's a bit too short. But you know what I mean. Like, that'll be like a doorway. But I'm not sure about this. Maybe we'll push this stair back one. Because I don't like it not meeting up with the, uh, the logs. Anyway, I need to go have a nap real quick. Because I cannot work in these conditions where I can't see a thing. So, uh... A lot of uh, building later. Um, <laughs> let's just say this looks super duper confusing. Oh, I was wondering why I could hear portal noise there. I forgot that that was so close. In fact, what do I, what do I build around the portal? The portal needs to be there. Maybe I was going to say a giant rock. I mean, that could work. Or maybe, maybe I build a hill in the middle here and have it as like a little underground grove sort of deal. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, what I do... Well, I was just about to say what I do know is that I want an archway here. Um, let's see if we can sort of build an archway out of our logs, perhaps. Don't know how well that's going to look. Or how good that's going to look. Um, I've also run out of logs. This should be another... Dude, I bought three stacks of logs. I'm on my third stack already. Wow, man. Okay. Uh, if only I built these out of spruce, that would sort of be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's quite nice. You know what? Imagine doing that sort of all the way along. I think that would look pretty cool. I don't know what I'm doing with these parts yet. I sort of did this. Because at the top of the staircase, it sort of worked quite nicely. But I don't know if that's going to work all the way through or not. So I'm going to see what we think about that as we go. 
but yeah, I think that this sort of archway is going to look quite nice arched. I mean, although it's a bit weird having sort of the beams be arched, right? Because usually you wouldn't have them arched. But I don't know. We're going to say it works here and try and work with it. And I think what we'll do is maybe... I don't know if we want to go with dark oak ceiling. We'll keep that arched as well with uh, just some stairs and some slabs. But that, I mean, as a, as a, as a plan for a build... It's looking pretty solid, right? It's looking pretty solid. Oh, by the way, also, I fixed the problem we had here by not lining up this with that. And uh, moved it all forward, had added some stairs. And it just works a lot better. So now I can head up here. We'll have some fence posts along here. And this will just be really nice. You can even look... Oh, dude, look at this. I didn't realise we'd have a nice view here, but we will. Unless I build anything there, which... Is probably quite likely in fact maybe maybe huts can go there and a little camp for the pirates yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay cool that's gonna work perfectly and this lines up nicely with the floor we'll have some detail in the floor which is quite cool and i think as for a staircase in here we might be able to build one up facing this way and getting through that gap so it lines up with the uh actually no it won't quite line up with the doorway will it no, but we'll make it work. Make a little staircase up here. Perhaps even starting like somewhere like this. Uh, if that if that works. But that might be quite nice because we'll be able to still fit underneath the door. Through here. And yeah, I think we're going to leave this wall and that wall open. And maybe even this wall open too. It's sort of half open, half closed. I don't know, it's going to work I think. But uh, it's looking pretty solid so far. Right, so we are on the, I think, last wall right now. I wanted to bring you guys back in before I sort of... Well, actually saying that. I've brought you guys back in and I don't actually have enough materials to even finish it. I have literally run out of spruce wood. Oh, there we go. We've got plenty there. Uh, in fact, I haven't even made a crafting bench yet. Uh, let's just make one. <laughs> I'm sure I've got plenty. In fact, I think I've got, like, over a stack somewhere on my base. But um, let's make some stairs real quick. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm liking that dark ceiling there. It, it really nice, it's a nice contrast, you know, uh, and it contrasts between the spruce. Because because I think this this build is currently all spruce. My other builds, oh, does that actually fit? I sort of just left this. But, uh, dude, how did I, how did I guess that I was like the perfect place for it? <laughs> nice. Um... I love it when things come together like that. It's perfect. Right, uh, it saves me a whole bunch of uh, extra work. So, I'm going to... What did I do here? Is that just a normal block? Okay, good. Uh, I'm using that to climb up. So, yeah, I think here is where we want to possibly add another window or two. So, I'm going to do this. Uh, and have, I think, maybe long windows, perhaps, here. So, we'll have, like, a, a window here. And then maybe, like, a window... Here too, and maybe even one in the middle as well. But I don't really know what's going on the roof this side yet, so we're going to leave it all very low down. But here, I think I want the arch roof. I think we need like it here, down to there, down a little bit more, and then maybe turning the corner and doing the same on that side too, which I think is going to look really nice. But that's going to be a little bit of extra work, so... Although, wait a second. Yeah, so I sort of made that there, a balcony area like an overlook area. I don't know what to do with it just yet. Maybe just put fencing along it? I'm not 100% sure, but I did block in, I did manage to block in the ceiling blocks behind the spruce, which I was worried about because I didn't think that we were going to have, um, I thought we were going to have like a, a dark oak stripe or something going around the house, which in my opinion doesn't look super great, but I don't know. Things are looking okay. I think I might change things like this up because this doesn't look super great, but I mean, little details like that are nice things to go back to and easily fix, I think. So, yeah, you know what? It's looking pretty good. Let's let's try and add the roof. You guys have seen me add the roofs before, so we're going to skip past uh, that part. And I'm going to have a roof on this in the next second. Well, with a roof, this thing is starting to look pretty solid. I haven't actually flown past it yet, though. Let's see how it looks in this area. Now, uh, it might have still, you know, holes in the roof and things like that added to it. But, uh, as a sort of complete thing, let's see how it looks in this sort of area. Do you know what? It's not too bad. I, that, that with a couple of trees around it, um, and some, maybe even some logs. In fact, that's a perfect place for some logs. I've got a little bit spare rail on me. I've got a block that I can use to place it. So, let's 
do one, two, three, four. Let's do this kind of thing. And oh no, we're gonna have to do. I try. <laughs> I tried saving some logs by by using that, but that's not gonna work super well, is it? Yeah, something like that would work. I don't have enough oak on me though, funnily enough. Um, but yeah, you, you know what a wood pile looks like. I don't even know why I'm trying to explain to you guys what I'm thinking. But yeah, something like that. Um, and then I'd have to make it a little bit longer to add sort of two, two things holding it down. And that works really nicely because we've got oak in there. You know, this is, you know, wood that they've chopped previously. And um, yeah, this should work quite nicely. In fact, do I want to move it a little bit further? No, that's fine. That's fine, that'll do. Uh, so that's looking good. I do need to add the drill inside and then basically I have no other ideas other than maybe sort of little details here and there. So for example, I've just thought it might be quite nice to have some fences up here. Um, for sure, something like that would look quite cool. Have I I've already added something along there? Yeah, I've been using fence gates. In fact, I might use them there too, but I haven't got enough blocks for that. So we're going to have to make a few more of those. But yeah, I really like how these look. I don't know why I think they look better for this particular build, um, but I think they do. So we're going to sort of block off these two areas. Uh, maybe this area too. And what is this area? Oh, this is... Yeah, I don't know if we want to add, like, um, doors to this. Maybe. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. But I think what I'm going to do is leave the interior to, like, maybe a live stream because I'm not... 100% sure how it's going to look. I've just thought, though, looking up there, we are going to have to make the touch, uh, the final touch of uh, doing this ceiling with stone brick slabs because I've been doing that recently on the other house interiors that I've been doing and it just cleans it up a little bit, just makes it a little less intense. I mean, this is outside, so I don't want it to be completely covered like this inside might be. It might just be complete stone brick. Um, also, speaking of stone brick, I meant to actually change up this here. Let's see if I've got any polished andesite. I've got some normal andesite as well. Perfect. So I think with this area, I want to definitely start breaking up a little bit. Uh, sort of this kind of thing. Um, doing that all the way along and then maybe getting some andesite, breaking it up with that too. Just making this thing as worn as possible. That's basically what I want to do. I'm not even worried if it does that because that's quite a nice little touch. Uh, so yeah, we want to add the drill. So for that, I've already got the stuff, I believe, which is in, not that one, but this one. So let's do this. We don't need redstone. Don't even need leaves actually saying that. I just picked them up apparently. Although we could add them to this and make it look like a like a tree with still some leaves on it maybe. But anyway, uh, let's do this. So I think I want to do that. Have a block there. Turn that on, and then basically do this kind of thing, I think. I think this is how it was planned, or how it was done previously. Uh, maybe like this. I can't tell if that's the way to do it or not. <laughs> In fact, that looks a bit weird up there. But yeah, that... that. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. Now, now I've built that. I mean, it looks pretty good from here, though. Which is the view you're going to get of it? It looks a bit like a saw, like a a bit a, a pretty a pretty unsafe saw. Like I mean, there are no guards or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I think that works okay. It'll do for now. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll change it up. But the idea is there. I think now I need to just add some windows, add some spruce leaves, maybe do a little bit of the terrain around it, and then I think we'll wrap up for today. Because uh, I'd like to come back to this and add any other details or change some things around. Like, I want to add some more of these little bits poking out. Uh, it sort of looks a bit like a lodge, in fact. Sort of, sort of like this could be on a mountain or something. I don't know, it looks pretty cool. Anyway, uh, let me work on this a little bit more, add the rest of the detail, and uh, we'll come back one last time to show you guys what it's looking like. And I think the mushrooms work really, really nicely with this too. So I'm going to add a couple of them around it at some point in the future as well. Right, guys, I'm ready for the big reveal. Ta-da! It's looking good, I think. I think it looks pretty good. I do want to add like a path up to it and some actual interior inside. I, I don't know if I want to make it a house. I think maybe living quarters upstairs, working downstairs, but downstairs is super, super small with space. But yeah, I'm really digging this thing. I think it looks good. Haven't added doors either, so maybe, maybe living quarters, maybe not so much, but maybe like office upstairs or something like that. Uh, not sure, but um, 
yeah, uh, suggestions are more than welcome, as always. But yeah, doing the uh, doing this sort of stuff outside, I think, really, really helps. Just adds that extra something. Uh, I've added some leaves around the outside, although they are looking quite fancy, because they're, like, sort of all lined up quite quite neat, especially this side. Uh, I did run out of space nearly. I had to build sort of a fake hill <laughs> that this is standing on. But we'll work over with the terrain as we go, because, you know, I might need to tweak things, add hills maybe, where I don't want them, or where they weren't. Um, and yeah, we'll just sort of customise it as we go. But anyway, guys, I've run out of time for this episode, as always, and I'll catch you guys next time. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.